Hello viewers and welcome to Africa and BN Television Network and this afternoon Andei Kumakua Kila Zivu is um, spoken about a certain rumor which is circulating in the political circles. It has not been confirmed yet. It's still a rumor and it remains so up until it has been confirmed. So the rumor is that CCC MPs were allegedly promised the 50,000 United States dollars each to remain active in parliament and disrupt Chamisa's initiatives. Alleged paid associates of Chamisa's inner circle for more uh, info, check with Madame Kore and Nube. This is what Killer Zevo said. We are going to take a look on the probabilities of this rumor to be true. Can there be, uh, is there a need for them to be given $50,000 each? What will be the reason? Remember, no Chamisa pulled out of the Triple C party. The recalls have stopped. And there is the greatest possibility that Nelson Chamisa is going to launch a party very, very soon. Anytime from now, expect to see a new party being launched by President Nelson Chamisa. What it means is all Nelson Chamisa's loyalists will then say, let us withdraw from parliament so that we force by elections and contest under the new banner. The problem right now is that there is the leadership of Shavango. There is the leadership of Mkwanans. Both leaderships have been recognized so far as it, as it stands. And the promise Mkwanazi is, is not so, as soft as the president Nusun Chamisa is known what he can do when he's in charge of an institution. Which means they will need to tread carefully with him when he is in charge of the triple C. So what it means is the MPs, if they go to the Shavango site, they will be recalled by Mkwanans. If they go to Mkwanans side, they will be recalled by Shavango. And the regime can let it flow just like that. So what it means is these MPs will not have any way to go. Which means they can say, President Nelson Chamisa, you have formed a new party. We are withdrawing from Triple C so that we contest under the new banner. What does that mean? It means Nelson Chamisa will then go to sweep each and every seat again from a by elections before he does the unthinkable or what is not known or the unknown strategy. Before it is implemented, that will give him another chance to also fight in the ballot. And that will expose a lot of people because the Shavangus will be subjected to, 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 to contestation. Nelson Chamisa will be subjected to contestation, which means it will be a battle of the team Shavangu versus the team Chamisa. And this time around, it will be difficult to stop those MPs. So even if ZANPF is to introduce a motion to try and stop MPs who resign from contesting, how long is it going to take for it to be passed and for it to become law? That is very important, very critical. Because even if the matter is to be taken to court, to the constitutional court, how are they going to win against such a case? So it's a game which is being played right here, which means my own view is there is a greatest chance that these MPs can be given money. And that money will be used to tie them to say, okay, guys, so you cannot withdraw from parliament, you will not resign from parliament, you remain where you are. Then, Pane Pane Dir, Raguti, if he, if if you are recalled from either side, we are going to make sure that you get your allowances. We are going to make sure that we cover for your vehicle. We are going to make sure that any other benefit teachers of you you will get it. That is the only guarantee. So this is a game which is in being played right here in Zimbabwe and a lot can happen. So I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's false. I just gave you the probability and the possibility. However, taking a look on how coming this regime is, 
the offers might be given to just a few because when you give them to more people it, it then becomes problematic in terms of controlling who and who which means it can be given to a few who will then be used to persuade others which means kune vanenge vachenza vando ma group leader ndo vanhu vacho vari influential ndo vanongo piwe vavo and the deal is done so it is what it is in zimbabwe this is how i view it let us hear what other people say zvikanze you are lying this is mukuru zvikanze ndo saka panze rumors zvikanze is 50000 consisting of 25000 now and to a 25000 in land which means 25000 mune pwa sa zvaitika 25000 mune pwa kana mchinge ma ramba chini uh, kana ma ma ma, ma, ma ramba ku, ku, kubuda parliament zvanze zvan is smart they deprive you of basics then push you to a corner and thus way laid on the table 50k who can say and did to that kind of money apa vamwe they have never worked in their lives and unemployable okay Kanzi, you do not pay a poor man any extras to keep him in a paying job okay zvikanzi i could use okay this is a, an advert zvikanzi killer murai names are powerful you are living up to your first name une uh, namoiwe and i think that's a lie where would one get that money and who is paying mchanye pay me and how much was madam current be paid we are fame and real fame that she missed baba vedu okay zvikanze siya vadye mari there is always a way of doing things zvikanze ngavadye zvavo asicha missa ati musiya so these are the comments in zimbabwe we will continue to watch and see will these rumors be true